Hello and welcome to Silver Linings. My name is Chrissy, and today I'm guiding you through one of our ski challenge series sessions. Today's session is called Ski Stamina. And yes, we're going to be building the stamina in those big horse muscles, the thighs, the glutes, a little bit of core work chucked in there as well. And as you can see for today's session, I'm utilizing a block. If you don't have a block at home, you could use a nice coffee table book or you could grab a towel and just fold it up into a kind of square-like shape that you'll be able to use to squeeze between those inner thighs. What else do you need? A mat on the floor, a nice sturdy chair that will be our surface for our thigh work today. And as always, do grab a towel, some water, have those handy. The breaks will be few and far between because I'm trying to build your endurance today. However, if you need a break and shake it out, do. And if you're taking care of any injuries, any issues, listen out for the modifications, keep yourself moving safely. And please make sure now that you can see me clearly when you're standing, kneeling and lying down. We're going to start with those feet parallel, that all important ski stance. Bring the palms to the outside of your block. If you're holding a towel, you're slightly pulling it apart and we'll start to breathe. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze in on your block. Draw the abdominals in and up. Think of that beautiful tall stance. One more breath. Inhale, arrive on your mat. Set positive intentions now for our ski time together. Now rise and lower the heels. We go up and down. So we're just raising and lowering the heels, feeling the kneecaps pulling up, feeling the thighs engage. Let's start to move that block. It's up, it's down, it's up, it's down. So working on a little balance here right from the get-go, getting you into your body, also finding that breath. Four more like so, then we squat. It's four, three, don't hit your nose with that block, <laughs> two more, and then slice the knees forward. Hold it there, find that beautiful deep squat, pulse and squeeze, pulse and squeeze. So I'm looking for you to drive the shoulders down, find that back body, lift the core, Pulse and squeeze. Now the weight is predominantly in your heels. Toes become light. And take a long, low gaze. Easy faces right here. You've got four. You've got three. That's two. Let's take it just on the beat. Little presses down and down. So right away, if you already did the first in our series, you'll be feeling your thighs waking up. Beautiful. If you're doing this as a standalone, welcome to that gorgeous bar thigh burn that we love so well. Let's take four more. We skate in four. Keep squeezing on that block, firing your pectoral muscles. In two, in one. Step on wide, but stay low. We go criss and cross. So that lovely skater motion. I love how that gives you a stretch for your inner thigh, but also starts to fire inner outer thighs. We're going to hold to the right in four. That's three. Little leg pull-ins in two. Reach the block up on one. It goes pull, twist, pull. So getting into that core twisting action that again is really gonna serve you out on the slopes. It's eight. Breathe, breathe. Six. Stay low in the right knee. It's three. It's two. Back to your skate. We go left, right. Pushing into the outside of your foot. Finding that low links like gaze. Good, you got four. How are those shoulders? Three, are they driving down the back into two? Over to the left on one. Hold it, there we go, little drive. Pull, pull. So the left knee is soft, right knee is driving in. Breathe as you go. It's four. We're gonna hit the mat in three. That's two, that's one. You're done. Now, place that block right between those inner thighs. Step to the center of your mat and roll down. You can soften the knees as much as you need. Place the wrists underneath the shoulders. Knees come directly below your hips, then walk them back until they are long. So press your hips forward, push the floor away, tuck the pelvis under. We go push, push, little tap. So it's a modified plank that becomes a full plank. And your goal here is to find that line from crown of head to heels, ribs drawing in, squeezing your tush as you extend and hugging in on your block. Two more, then we come down to your forearms hold. Find the squeeze smoothly, elegantly, ladies and gentlemen. Find your way to a forearm plank, number 11 with those arms. Little combo, forward, back, bend, squeeze, stretch. Inhale, exhale. Remember the breath. That is key to building stamina and endurance. You need to oxygenate those big horse muscles. One more slow, it's forward, back like a dart, 
moving through space we go. Forward, back, bend, stretch. So that speedy tempo might not be for you today. If you need to keep it slow, you do. If you need a break, just hold modified plank in four. Good job, it's three. We're out in two. Last one, hold, squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. Go ahead and grab your block. Place it in front of you, hands come on top and rest your head into the space. It feels really nice on those shoulders. And then as you come on up, quick little Russian twist to get us into our core a little more. So ground those heels, lift the spine, press into your block, hollow as you hold back. If you need to hold on, place the block to one side. We twist right and left. So your goal is to keep those abs scooping. Maybe shoulders could come down a little further. Maybe you could tuck under just a touch more. Maybe add a lift, a lift. So this is just an option. Aiming opposite elbow to knee, twisting. We're out in eight. Feeling a little burn through that waistline. Beautiful. Four, three, two, one. Ground the heels, push the block either forward. That's level one. Level two, you're going high diagonal. Level three to right up here. Little pull, little pull. So small, so vicious, so strengthening. Beautiful, you got five, four, squeeze it, three, two, and one. That is your warm-up done. We're gonna go ahead and grab your steady surface. I'm placing my chair right onto the front edge of the mat. That gives it a little stability. Place the block between your feet. Now you want to be an arm's length away from your surface or slightly closer. So walk the block and your feet in. Place left foot on top of block. Place right leg behind you. Find that famous lunge, gorgeous square hips. We go, drop, drop, press. Drop, drop, press. Now the front knee doesn't move forward or back in space. This is important. We're not pressing over or under. For your knee health, you wanna keep it nice and steady. We drop, drop, press. Good. Now my spine is lifting tall. Maybe those hands could test your balance, lift them off. Ooh, only for the brave. Remember the chair is always there. And if you need to adjust your block or your chair, make it work for you today. Abs are tight. Oh, I'm starting to feel those thighs. How about you at home? So we're gonna stay in it. That's what we do to win it. Four more. Go silver liners, three. Could we get lower? Oh yeah, two, right down there. Aha, uh -huh, now right at the base, down and down. Oh my gosh, that's where it gets real. That's where the fire starts. Let's stoke it even more for eight. That's six, we're going to pull at knee to chest in three, in two, it looks like this. We pull it eight, seven, little pulse in the standing leg as well. Goes four, three, two, now send it back. We've got eight. Maybe test your balance. Roll the shoulders, four, beautiful. Just four counts in, it goes four, three, two, one. Press it back, four, three, two, I know. So it's a slow build, but now that left leg is really starting to scream. Four, three, if you need to shake out, you do, but you jump back in, go four. Breathe deeply into the back body. Four, three, could we do two counts each way? Yes, we can. It's in for two, it's back for two. Exhale to curl, inhale to lift. Two more, in and in, back and pull. We're gonna make this a little cardio move. Here we go, lean forward team, we pull, we pull. So just like those side rotations in your warm up, I'm getting so much feedback through that left leg, I hope you are at home. Eight, seven, six, then we come to kneeling in four, three, two, and on one. Send all the way down. I'm gonna move my chair out of my way. Go ahead and bring that block back between the inner thighs. Beautiful hinge moment. We're gonna scoop the belly, squeeze the glutes, hug your block. Give me two strong fists. Right about now, you probably want to hit me anyway. So there we go. So we're gonna go back for two. Pull the elbows, reach it forward, push on up. Yes, inhale back. So you're moving like a piece of steel. There is no wobbling in those abs. There's no losing your form. The more you hug the block, the more feedback you will get to your abs and inner thighs. Two more slow, pull it on in. Aha, uh -huh. this time we stay back there. You ready? Lean it out. How far can you go, ladies? Ponytail to heels, right? We pull, we push, squeeze your block, reach on long. Eight, good, seven, you can do this. Six more, stay in it, five, lovely. Four, keep hugging deeper, three, Woo! 
Woo! Two more. I know. Last one. Hold it there. Little taps. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one. Swing your legs around. Keep your block right where it is. If you have wrist issues, you make a fist. Otherwise, fingers are facing seat. Heels are grounding. Hover your seat off the floor. One bend, one squeeze. One bend, one squeeze. So we were not going to forget about our triceps. You actually do a lot of work with those poles when you're skiing. So we want the arms and shoulder girdle to be strong so that we don't get injury there. I speak from some experience. <laughs> Good, four, squeeze, three. How's that squeeze? Two, can we put it together? I think we can. Let's go. Squeeze lower, squeeze in, squeeze pulse, squeeze pulse. Elbows are hugging together as though there were a large beach ball or a very big block right there. Eight, holding in six. You've got this, four, chest open, three, two. Now hold your chest open and give me a smile, push those hips back, five, four, woo, three, two, and rest. Whew, give it a shake. Are you excited about side two? I can tell. So bring that block all the way with you, bring your chair back to the front if you moved it at all. And remember, you're gonna set up your block for success by placing it between your feet. You are a four arms distance away from your block, sorry, your chair, right foot this time, right foot on that block. Left leg back, find two 90 degree angles. We drop, drop, little lift. So again, I notice I might need to move my chair a touch. If you find you need to adjust, now is the moment for that. Hips and shoulders square. Find that little beat. So it's drop, drop, up, hold. Staccato rhythms, precision. That is what this is about. That is what your ski technique requires. Good for us to get strong and build that stamina. Good, let's go for four more. Could you get lower? So you're probably in that mid range. Maybe there's a little bit deeper to find. You've got to hold that deepest point. Little pulses down, down. Maybe test your balance for my warriors. Thumbs resting on heart center. Open your chest. Eight more here, it's eight. Knee slices in in six. Tight abs, four, three, two. Now we hug the knee in, inclining eight, seven, Six, so it's a tiny pulse in the right leg, tiny hug of the left. In three, two, one, step it back, four, eight. Maybe test your balance, six. Square it up, four, three, two, hug it home. For four, three, two, that right leg starting to burn. Four, three, remember the spine moves as well. So we're inclined, breathing deeply, then we're gorgeously tall. Find those variations, yes. Three, and four, light step back. Good, could you find a two? In for two, back for two. Exhale, team. Inhale, up, last set, in, in, back, back, hold it there, lower the knee. Oh, your favorite exercise of all time. It's back, place the block between your thighs. We're coming into our hinge. So again, squeezing the tush, squeezing the abs, tucking under. This time again, fists coming forward. Can you go back, pull, forward, lift? So a little more pace, same control, all that work in your core and your thighs. The more you bring it into the core, the less these feel heavy. And that is true on the slope as well. So if you can work from your center, you will be lighter in that snow. Beautiful. Let's go all the way back, hold it there. We're down, we're up, we're down, we're up. Take the gaze with you. Make it gorgeously open through the chest. Four more, three more, two more, yes. Last one, hold it there, little tap. Eight, seven, six, and five. Stay with me, four, yes team. Three, two, and on one. Swing the legs around, final little set of tricep dips. Oh, because we love them. Give the wrists a circle, either a flat hand, or remember, you have that option for a fist. If those wrists are sensitive, lift your hips, we start to pulse down and down, add a twist, left, right. So I'm lightly tapping my glute side to side, just like I'm heading down the mogul hill. Could we go a little faster? Tap, 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 woo! We are on fire. Back of the arm is on fire, great. Goes eight. That's six, you got it. Four, three, two, one. Push the hips up, find a squeeze, and slowly release. 
Beautiful job, team. Okay, so we're going to move that chair out of our way and then quickly reset. So we're coming into our seat work, changing that focus to the back of the body, which will in turn stretch out the front of the body. It should feel really good. Again, let's set up for success. So you're going to place right foot flat on the floor, left foot on your block, but they are hip sockets width apart and then slowly roll yourself down. Now, if you feel like that block's now quite far away and you could come a bit closer, you do, but if you're working with any knee issues, avoid any compression right there. Lightly tapping that left toe, sorry, right toe to the floor, we start to curl the hips. Up for two, down for two. So this is your back dancing for seat. The reason I love it so much for skiing is we're gonna get a lot of work through the glutes and side, inner outer thigh as well. So if you can think about it, we're actually in an upside down tuck, right? Ah, it's all making sense. We lift and lift. So you're only lifting one fist off the floor. Your lowest rib remains locked onto the floor. Glue it down now and hug those ribs together. Two more, just finding that peeling and replanting of the spine. This time hold the tuck. We go with the right knee, in, in, little tap. In, in, little tap. So the hips are still and stable. Your breath is flowing. All I'm doing is moving my right knee in space, but my gosh, that left glute just said hello. Uh-huh. Or bonjour, or wherever you're heading skiing. <laughs> four more here, we've got this four. I'm using the hands firmly in the mat for stability, also opening the collarbones, releasing the jaw. Last one, hold it at 90 degrees, flex your foot. Little pulses up and up. And this is where we start to get into the secret sauce because that little space right where your glute meets your hamstring is now on fire. Yeah, uh-huh, you've got this eight. Keep squeezing six, are your abs tight? Four, three, hold them still on one. We go push, push, little pull. Push, push, little pull. So again, right leg moving, everything else still and stable. Finding that stamina, that endurance to stay in it. Two more, hold the leg long, micro lift it up. It's up, little kick with the right, kicking me away, kicking away any negativity, anything that says you can't do this. Let's get rid of that right now. You can, you do have the strength. Tell yourself you can. Four, eight, seven and six, that's five, four, three, two on one, rolling onto your side. Your right knee will bend, your block, collect it, place it underneath your left hand. Two right angles in the legs. We're gonna kick that left leg back. So it's a tiny push back. This is a kind of modified pretzel position. Your underside of your waistline is lifted and then the waistline at the top is long. Press your heel tightly towards your seat and then kick away. You've got four. Three. Oh, I can feel the back of that leg. We've really fired it up, good. Now, tiny presses here. Push into this left hand. Let's see if you can fire up that lat. I know so, so I can take my right hand off. Uh-huh, yes. You've got four. Three, we're gonna slice that left knee big. So it goes in for two, flex and press. Now getting a long leg, push. So it's that pneumatic action that we have going up and down the hill, right? Two more slow, then we're gonna speed it up. Beautiful, in, push, in, push. So it's a little deli slicer action, really getting that juicy hip getting that glute squeezing at the full extension. Imagine my hand was at the back of your heel. Could you push into it? Push down on your block, four more. Three to the fun. Two, good, hold it at your longest leg. Now options are, you could stay right here to the finish line. I'm good with that. If you're newer to class, stay there. If not, send the right leg under, lift your hips, find your side, plank, push, push. Uh-huh, you've got this. Now this block is not just a piece of kit that we invented. We're gonna use it now to finish off this side beautifully. Can you kick in and out? Yes, 10, nine, stay with me, eight. If you need to lower the hip, you do, but you stay with that movement for four more. Three, two, and one. Whew. Send the hand onto the left ankle. Reach your right arm high. Oh, just breath over. This is known as a mermaid stretch. I think we could have mermaids in the mountains, why not? Good, and then let's reset. If you need a sip of water, you grab it. Otherwise, let's reset that right foot this time on your block. Feet parallel, hip sockets width apart, roll on back. Find an even position through the mat. 
light left toes, we go. Little lift, lift, lower. So it's a peeling action of the seat. Lowest ribs, remember, are glued. Left toe, light. You're gonna lift it anyway in a minute. So why not get prepared? Weight into that right heel primarily. Four more. Three, then a hold. Two, then a hold. Now last one, hold your curl. Find that lift, it's in, in, tap. In, in, tap. So really, you don't even hit the floor. Imagine the mat was burning hot or very, very cold. Ooh, it's icy, don't touch it. Four more. Three. Good, two, we're gonna keep that leg static in 90 degrees, flex the foot, little press up, little press up. One thing to check on, are those hips even? I like to place my fingertips just there, maybe lift your head for just a moment and then place it back down. Four more here, it's four, it's three, it's cooking, aha, uh -huh. now we press out, out, pull. The pull means you need to exhale, those abs scooping deeper with that exhalation. Four more, leg stays long in three, two more, stay long with the leg, little presses. Now if it's too much with a fully extended leg, you could just keep it in that kind of bend position. Add a little hip lift, we're here for 10, nine, we're side lying team, beautiful, four, in three, in two, in one, roll onto that left side, send your left shin bone forward, send your block forward just in front of your chest bone, send your right leg back, flex the foot, beautiful, push back hold, push back hold. So we've already ignited that spot where the seat meets your hamstring. If you wanna put your finger there, I really like to get that feedback sometimes. Simultaneously, we're lifting the side body, easy neck and shoulders. Now, could you press down like crazy into that block? What happened? Your latissimus dorsi, these little muscles here have just switched on. On the beat, little push, little push, little push. Let's catch that beat, so nice. Woo, and it carries us through when things get a little much. Four more. We're gonna take that deli slice action. In four, in three, in two, knee comes to block. It goes in for two push long, so I'm in line with the hip. I've got this really helpful orange stripe that tells me where I am in space. Try and check that as well at home so the top hip doesn't roll back, yeah? In and in, push on long. We go in, exhale. Abs staying lifted, ribs nice and firmly drawing together because that is gonna serve you in the side plank that is coming up. Yes team, four more, then we keep the leg long. Three, so strong, you can, it's two. Now the leg stays long in line with your hip, tiny presses. Could you dial your toes down just an inch? See what happens to that glute? Woo! Good, now you could stay here, this is all good. Otherwise you reach that left leg underneath you and you press on up, push, push. Final push, we're back to that deli slice. We're in, push. Yes, raising that heart rate, giving you that stamina to enjoy a full day ski. Good, it's five, it's four, it's three, it's two, it's one. Rest on down, beautiful. Send that block in front of you, just put it to one side. Oh, and we take our mermaid stretch, which feels delicious. I promise you there will be a deeper stretch for those glutes and thighs at the end. However, we are now gonna get into our final back dancing set. So have that block handy or your towel. Set the feet nice and wide and take a beautiful slow roll down. This should feel really nice if you've picked up any tension in that lower back. So this is one of my favorite positions. We're gonna take a nice wide heel stance. Again, we're back in our back dancing. So you peel the hips up and you are only one fist off the floor. Start by taking a squeeze, squeeze lift. So if you were thinking about the downhill, like super G, they have that amazing wide stance, those skiers, and they are holding that from all of this musculature, not just the thighs. So this is why this ski stamina session has that focus and indeed the whole challenge series. You've got four. We shake in three. Again, I'm using my fingertips right where the glute meets the hammy. Hold it there, we shake it. Right, left, right, left. You can make it sexy, why not? <laughs> it's also shaking out your waistline, so getting those abs engaged for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. Hold and squeeze, close your eyes. Eight, seven, now imagine you're pulling your heels towards you, like you could ruckle up the mat. Woo, it's on fire, right? Five, four, three, Two, lower down with control, grab your block, place it now between your thighs, place your heels into the ground, really close to your sit bones unless you have knee issues. And again, you're gonna peel on up, lower down. This is your final push in terms of work. 
I'm gonna keep you here for a little minute. If it's not good to keep the feet flexed, by all means, you can set them flat. No worries. Good, now bring your elbows wide and then we press the palms, hands up, hips up, lower down. Hands up, hips up, squeeze it down. So I'm looking for control both on the ascent and the descent. Good, squeeze it down. Can we pick up that pace? It's squeeze, it's lower, it's squeeze, it's lower. Yes, my friends, tucking those abs, hollowing them in and underneath, hold it. Little tuck, up and up. Little presses with the arms as well. Now, if that feels too unstable today, you keep those arms by your side, and no worries. Next time you come back to this workout, I bet you'll be able to raise them off. You got 10, nine, then a hold, eight, seven, gorgeous, six, five, keep tucking, four, three, we hold in two. Now on one, press it up, press it up a little higher, close your eyes, squeeze that block till it becomes a piece of paper. You've got this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, roll it down. Gently remove your block and hug your knees, beautiful job. Okay, so you take a couple of circles for the knees. I was thinking this is a little heart shape. You hug the knees in, they separate, and they draw a little heart. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's giving a little love to your hip flexors, juicing them out where you might have picked up a little tension. And then we're coming to a happy baby. So you grab the outside of your feet, knees come to your armpits, heels to ceiling. Such a nice thing. And I, what I love is that babies actually rock back and forth, so make it really, really happy. <laughs> Which is kind of cute. So from here, we're gonna take a nice final twist. Just move your block if it's in your way. Arms come to a T-shape, feet come as wide as the mat. Rock knees to left, nose to right. Find that twist through the spine. Breathe into the side and back of the ribs. Should feel really good. As you come back, right foot goes over left thigh, and then we slide the hands behind the left thigh Hug the belly of the thigh in. Make sure you're flexing the right foot that is overcrossed. And then maybe push your knee. I'll turn sideways so you guys can see. I'm using my right knee and pushing it outwards. That increases that sense of opening for the glute. Maybe adding in a hamstring stretch by extending the left leg. Woo, and you can flex and point and move the foot around as needed. It's your body, it's your workout. My favorite non-classical exercise, give it a shake. Ah, feels so good. And then we'll switch sides. So knees are gonna go all the way to the right, nose to the left. Just finding that final twist breath into the back body. Come all the way across, figure four stretch, hug it in. Maybe that hammy. Oh, nice. Maybe a couple of circles for the ankle. So you can kind of layer in and make this stretch what you need, right? And these are great to do pre or post ski to prepare the body. From here, hugging the knees into your chest, just rock and roll a couple of times through the spine. We did a lot of really challenging postures. So it's nice just to roll out any of those kinks and then go ahead and come to all fours. We're gonna take a little curl, a little extension, do two more like so, really finding a little rippling action through the spine, pushing and opening last time. Hook the toes. Send the hands back towards the feet. Let the head be heavy for a moment. Knees are soft. We hollow the abdominals. Letting the arms and head hang heavy. Just roll on up, really feeling each little vertebrae lovingly stacked one on top of the other. That sense of length through the spine, that sense of power through the body because ladies and gentlemen, you have done it. You are done. That is your ski stamina all set. You can come back to this as many times as you need to build that stamina and endurance. That's how I've designed it for you guys. And please take a moment to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already, so we can keep making those workouts that make you feel fantastic every day. See you guys on the map very soon.